What happens after being convicted of an OWI charge? Attorney Robert Ballinger explains, depending on whether it is a first or subsequent offense, the process can be expensive. The person has to hire an attorney. The attorney has to review all of the evidence, meet with the client, negotiate with the prosecutor's office, and petition the court for a hardship license or ignition interlock device. The person will have to pay court fines, court costs, alcohol countermeasure fees, probation user fees, fees for each and every alcohol test, alcohol or substance abuse counseling fees, anti-abuse fees if the OWI is a felony, higher insurance, premiums, and so on. If a trial is necessary, the person will have to pay the attorney for trial prep time and for the time it takes to try the matter. For more information and a free phone consultation, contact attorney Robert Bellinger of the Bellinger Law Office at 260-428-2214 or visit him on the web at robertbellingerlaw.com.